If you're creating any kind of uh, digital content, it's really frequent that you wish you could get a, a, a photo, a song, something you're allowed to play on, uh, say, uh, on YouTube, for example. If you do a, a video and you want royalty-free music, you need a way to get that. So I'm with John O'Connell at Pond5.com, and he's going to show us what they've got here today. How you doing, John? I'm doing great today. Thanks for having me, Allison. So All right, I, tell us how this works. So we are online marketplace for stock media. We have everything uh, from footage to music to sound effects to After Effects templates to uh, 3D models and even PSD files. To give you an idea of the size of the library, we have about 3.5 million uh, movie clips and we have about 300,000 uh, music clips and about, uh, what is it, about 500,000 sound effects. Uh, so you can probably find what you need. Yeah, the selection is massive. It's from an international base of about 50,000 artists. Um, we have uh, the buyer side, about 300,000 uh, buyers that come to our site. And this is a place where we can connect the creative community around stock media. So people submit their, uh, their content and then you guys host it and then sell it as, as a fee for that. That's cool. That's right, Allison. It is uh, a la carte pricing. Uh, so what I don't I, have to have some dumb monthly fee that I'm not going to use except twice a year. No, no, no. You pay for what you get and when you want it and, how, and whenever that time comes, you know, we're here for you. Uh, it's a great way to search. It's just like Google. You put in your key term. Uh, let's say we're let's looking... Start with, let's start with music. Music. Sounds great. So let's go to music. Within music, we have uh, all these different types of categories, whether it's hip-hop, playful, background, Christmas. Let's do ambient, just to check it out. Uh, you can see there's a variety of different types of links and uh, wave files, but the way to really preview it is hover your mouse over the image, and then you can hear the uh, file play as a preview with our Watermark Pond 5 on it. So I can, see the, uh, I can see the audio playing, and it says this particular clip is, for example, 1999, tells you 32 seconds long, and, and who produced it, and it auto-played. Absolutely, and if you want more details, you just click in, in there and you can see uh, what else is uh, behind there, such as the description, the length, the number of views, when it was uploaded, the ratings, uh, and it also gives you related clips. So if, you, if it's not the perfect fit, you can find something that you may want just below it. Oh, nice. You can also see more by the same artist if you find somebody you like. Absolutely. You know, we're, uh, we're a community for creatives and we want to highlight, you know, what the artists can uh, bring to the table upon five. And, you know, we have people that have become fans of artists just because of seeing their content on our site. Very cool. Now, below I see a section that says collections. What's that? Collections are a way to really categorize our content around a theme or a concept. It's helpful around big events, so say like the Olympics, you can get a lot of sports or uh, Paralympics type of content or holidays, Christmas. Halloween, Valentine's Day. This allows you, you know, the search process to be a little more targeted when you come to the site rather than just a blank, uh, blank uh, slate. So you can also select clips and, and drop them into sort of a bin down there at the bottom to compare them? That's right, Allison. You can make your own collections, and this is very helpful for specific projects. So say you're doing a travel project where you wanted music from around the world. You could put stuff from Spain in one collection. You could put stuff from Africa in another. You can oh, put. You have more than one collection of your own. Oh, absolutely, and you can share that with other people. So it becomes this workflow tool that you can kind of brainstorm and figure out exactly what fits, you know, your project needs. Wow, this is this is really terrific. We're probably most interested in the music because of uh, YouTube does takedowns on almost anything you do. And this, so do you have arrangements with companies like like with YouTube to keep them from uh, taking down the content? So yes, there are some arrangements, uh, nothing formal, but due to our curatorial process, there are certain legal and technical and quality issues that every file has to go through, and part of that takes in YouTube's uh, restrictions in, in the case. Uh, we won't guarantee perfect, sure. but uh, it's certainly better than... Uh, better than me guessing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, you have uh, photos, you have images, 3D models, uh, After Effects, uh, audio, and uh, video footage. That's right. And, you know, we keep growing. We keep adding, you know, emerging media types. Uh, we really are sort of a one-stop shop for creatives. And uh, we hope everyone who's listening and watching will check us out and uh, have fun with it. All right. That sounds good. One more time where they can find you? Pond5.com. All right. Very good. Thank you.